Does a movie like Star Wars fill some of that need for the spiritual adventure, for the hero? Oh, it's perfect. It does the, the cycle perfectly. It's not simple morality play. It has to do with the powers of life and their inflection through the action of man. One of the wonderful things I think about uh, this uh, adventure into space is that the narrator, the uh, artist, the one thinking up the story is in a field that is not covered by our own knowledges. Do you, when you look at something like Star Wars, recognize some of the themes of the hero throughout mythology? Well, I think that George uh, Lucas was using standard mythological figures. The old man as the advisor, well, specifically, what he made me think of is the uh, Japanese sword master. Remember, a Jedi can feel the Force flowing through him. I've known some of those people, and um, this man has a bit their, their character. Well, there's something mythological, too, isn't there, in the sense that the hero is helped by this stranger who shows up and gives him some instrument, a sword or a sheaf of yeah, life, shaft of he life. gives him not only a, a physical instrument, but a psychological commitment and a psychological center. This time, let go your conscious self and act on instinct. Well, he had him exercising with that strange weapon and then pulled the mask over. That's real Japanese stuff. I'll take them myself. When I took our two sons to see it, they did the same thing the audience did at that moment when the voice of Ben Kenobi says to Luke Skywalker in the climactic moment, Use the force, Luke. Let go, Luke. The audience broke out into they did. elation and to applause. Well, you see, this thing communicates. It is in a language that is talking to young people today, and that's, that's marvelous.